1994, a rabbi contracted someone to kill his wife. This person who was such a staple and pillar of the community and, and is so beloved, how can, how can a community, his community, reckon with him turning out to be a really bad guy? How do we move on when someone we love and respect so much does something horrible? It is a reminder that we need to question our leaders and remember that our leaders is powerful and as amazing as sometimes we think they are, they are also still just people. Basically every Jewish holiday is, is, is a recounting of something horrible that happened to us and yet we were over, able to overcome. Um, and that was one of the things I was trying to do with this piece and one of the reasons I structured it as a community coming together to remember the real people involved, to remember uh, what happened, uh, to keep in mind that this kind of thing can happen again. And it can happen to any community, not just, not just obviously not just the Jewish community. We rend our garments, we tear our clothes, and is this helpful? I suppose. But that's just fabric, a coat, a robe. But I like this passage from the book of Job. God has given, God has taken, blessed be the name of God. One of the things about A Wicked Soul in Cherry Hill is it deals very primarily with Jewish ritual. And the idea of Jewish ritual incorporates a tremendous amount of music, both in worship and in the tradition, the literary tradition going forwards. I love songs that tell a story, uh, and that's, I think, one of the reasons I chose to, to tell this story completely through song. The music and the storytelling is so combined, it's so entangled, you can't really separate one from the other. It, you know, it, it evokes emotion in a way that it's hard to with just words. Uh, and I think, I really think the perfect dramatic situation is, is the combination of music and lyrics. So it asks the audience to sort of take a step back and really try to see the bigger picture. I think audiences will be most surprised with the amount of nuance that goes into telling the story of this tragic event. But you would have gone to her and you would have said a prayer, God, you would give your right arm just to hold her hand and tell her you were there. And you would have gone to her and you would have said a prayer, God, you would give your right arm just to hold her hand and tell her you were there. I never make light of the tragic situations in, in, in the show. And, and in fact, I, I really try to um, approach them really very sensitively. We all as actors in the company are very aware that this was an incredibly tragic thing that happened. Whenever we approach any piece, we always approach it with the utmost respect, the utmost care, and I think all of us are committed to finding the truth of the situation. I think that Wicked Soul and Cherry Hill gives everybody an opportunity to revisit their past and to revisit their sort of idea of what ritual is and what the purpose of storytelling is. You know, art is here to sort of, you know, give clarity to sort of unspeakable and unmentionable and unfathomable things. Um, that's, 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 you know, that's why we do what we do.